In today's video, we are looking at Manus AI, a new Chinese startup that is blowing up the internet. If you look on screen now, you will see how Manus AI is controlling these 50 different social media accounts, which is insane. It's fully autonomous, it's tool integrated, multimodal, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. So in this video, we are going to be using Manus AI in order to identify startup opportunities. And we're not gonna go the chat GPT or the perplexity route, deep research and all that. We're going so much deeper. Stick with me because Manus AI is going to be our true AI co-founder. Let's get into the video. Guys, we are on the verge of 5,000 subscribers. I wanna thank each and every one of you as a thank you. You can win one of three free pro perplexity memberships. There's a link in the description below. The contest will end in about five days time. So if you're watching this video within five days, go and check it out, go and enter. And then second of all, over 95% of the people that watch this channel are still not subscribed. A humble ask from me is please like and subscribe and I will continue delivering better and better content as we move forward. I've got some crazy things planned in the pipeline and I want you guys to be the first members of that. So hit the like, hit the subscribe and stay tuned for more. Back into the video. So a couple days ago, I actually put out an article on my newsletter about Manus AI. My newsletter is AI The Boring. I provide practical insights around AI and other topics and it's completely free. So if you guys wanna sign up, there is a link in the description below. So what are the key things that make Manus AI different, right? Is it executes complex tasks without you having to babysit it. It interacts with a computer, so it has browser capability. It can go search the web, search through different browsers, check out different things. I mean, it can even go and watch YouTube videos. It's insane. And then it can plan and complete multiple step workflows on its own. So it's not just an LLM where, you know, what's the weather today? Or, you know, draft this email response. It's actually saying, hey, I need to accomplish this. And it will set up a plan and execute those steps pulling in different tools and executing as it goes in order to get you to your final goal. So Manus AI already have a bunch of use cases available and you can go check them out. And it's known as replays. So when you click on one of these, like deeply analyzed Tesla stocks, you can actually see the replay of how Manus AI went from prompt, this initial prompt, all the way through to how it actually analyzed, logged into different browsers, understood what it needed to do and executed as it went along, accomplishing each of its goals in order to get to the final outcome. It goes into so much depth. For example, with the comprehensive Tesla stock analysis, if we go ahead and actually just skip to the end, we've skipped to the end. And as you can see, this is all the information that Manus did all autonomously. It's off just one prompt. I want a thorough analysis of Tesla stock. And it goes through this entire set of workflows. And what it does at the end, it actually gives you a, a, like a web app dashboard. And you can see here, we've got the executive summary for Tesla got the financial performance, valuation analysis, technical analysis, market position, got a SWOT analysis, price targets, investment conclusion. And this is all in like a one little web app where you can just literally share this around. And this will be the output from whatever you use with Manus, right? So that's one of the examples. Another big thing here was the X buzz or the social media buzz is real. People are paying up to 100,000 won, which is about 13,500 US dollars for, a, for access to Manus. How do you access Manus? At this point, there's a wait list. So if you say get started, you will either have an invitation code or you'll have to join the wait list. I've joined the wait list and I wasn't able to still get in and I haven't been able to. That's why I'm only making this video now. However, I've got a good mate of mine who did get access and he's given access to his, his profile so that I can use that to showcase Manus AI to you guys and we can use it for the object of what we wanna achieve in this video. So big ups to my buddy, thank you but let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I've got Manus loading and this is the actual replay of what I put together. So I'm gonna put, get that out of the way. So I just wanna talk you through the initial prompt. So the initial prompt is saying, hi Manus, I want you to act as my AI co-founder and act as the most knowledgeable entrepreneur in the world or in history. What I want you to do is scour the internet and look at a couple of components. One of them being Y Combinator, which is YC. YC is a startup incubator, which have really shifted their focus onto AI startups. And I think it's a good litmus test to see what's working out there so that, you know, you can kind of use that to identify some more opportunities. Then on top of that, to also look at websites such as Product Hunt, AppSumo. These are websites that also are to an extent incubators, but it's, you know, real up and coming startups, a lot in the AI space, some are not in the AI space, some just use AI and, um, you know, those are on the up and coming. And then I said, 
I want you to look at Reddit as well and identify gaps in the market where people uh, are in need of products or services that AI can solve. So it's going into Reddit, looking at community forums, which Reddit is, which is the biggest one in the world and identifying some opportunities there. Overall, I ultimately want to come up and list startup ideas that could potentially generate, say, around $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue easily over the next 12 months. I do not want you to just list current successful startups, but rather give me ideas for new startups that I could create. Ultimately, I would want you want to be able to scale this to about a million dollars or a multi-million dollar business down the road. I want you to do then after research and give me a full breakdown of how to accomplish this. I don't want you to just focus on lots of technical jargon, so remove that. And don't beat around the bush, be very straight up, be very simple. I want you to present to me in a website form or web app form as an overall. I can click through the different ideas. I want each startup idea broken down into a nutshell of what each one is and the best way to implement it. And talk to me like you're talking to a friend, very conversational. And give me a plan for a proof of concept or minimal viable product that I can go ahead and build as quickly as possible. I'm relying on you, so let's go. That is the prompt that I gave it. And I'm going to redo this and then we'll basically just chat through what it's ultimately doing. So when the replay starts here, this took about six to 10 minutes to run. And you can see what it was doing here. So if we go up, it's opened up its own browser. So you can see the Manus computer over here and it's actually going into YC. It's going into Reddit, it's going into Product Hunt, which it has over there. And it's just going into AppSumo and it's literally looking at all those websites we told it and it's identifying different startup opportunities or startups that exist currently and then obviously using its knowledge about potential startup opportunities down the road. So you can see here it said I'll act as your AI co-founder and identify promising AI startup ideas that could generate around $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue yada 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 and then connected to different data sources and it goes through that entire process. As we go down you can see how many different components it's connecting to um, and it starts to put, out, put together an implementation plan. So it's, I've encountered a network security block. We're trying to access Reddit directly. This is common limitation. I'll adapt my approach. So what it's doing is it's not asking you, hey, I can't get into Reddit. Please help me. It's actually saying, cool, I can't get into Reddit. Let me try something else. And I'm not doing anything. I was just sitting back watching it do its own thing, going on its own browser, searching the internet, understanding what it needs to do. And it ultimately gets to your goal. It goes through multiple steps and it uses multiple tools, but it does it itself. It's completely autonomous. Right, so ChatGPT would stop and say, hey, I can't send that email or I can't get through Reddit if you're using, you know, ChatGPT can't really do that without operator. But, you know, so you, you're kind of limited with this. It's next level, to be honest. So it's very thorough and I went through this entire process. And ultimately, if we go all the way through to the bottom, we get a couple of items out of this, right? So... If we see over here, would you like me to provide any additional information or focus on any particular startup idea? So it's given us an implementation plan for some of them. And then obviously uh, you can look at all the attachments for each one. And these are implementation plans for each of the ideas it gave us. Now, if we come up to the web application, we can go ahead and open up this web app on our computer. And it gives us a web app or a website pretty much with all these ideas. One of the ideas I did like over here that I'm looking at is Customer Insights, a platform that aggregates and analyzes customer feedback from multiple channels, channels so reviews, support tickets, social media, to identify uh, and therefore actionable insights. So in this case here, basically think about if you use artificial intelligence in order to scan through like support tickets coming into a company as part of their like you're coming through Slack or their ServiceNow channel or you know, whatever it is. And you, AI is analyzing all of those to create like answer documents or FAQ documents that get automatically generated based on the most common feedback that, that they're getting from customers. So you don't have to have someone go through it and go, oh, okay, there's this and we keep getting this, this issue. So let's create an FAQ document or let's create a document that does that. It'll do that automatically. And another thing here that I was thinking about was from like social media or, you know, customer feedback, right? So when you're getting multiple different reviews in, you might have 4,000 reviews, but you can use AI to understand the full sentiment of what those reviews are saying. And there is some things like this already. For example, you can, you know, if you're on Facebook now, you can go to the comments and it will actually give you a meta AI summary of like, oh, the comments are kind of leaning more towards this or that so it gives you an overall but if you could do that with say reviews and you can go to a client and say hey guys listen we all come in 
use AI and automation in order to completely automate your review process and then just give you the key insights. There you go. So I do like this customer insights, AI powered customer feedback analysis gives you the full implementation timeline. And then like, it's, like I said over here is you could go through to, so if we go and find customer insights implementation, right? This gives us that full implementation plan here, but it gives us a more in depth, right? So for example, phase one MVP development, research common customer feedback channels, and it goes through interview 10 to 15 potential customers, week three to four, five to six, seven to eight, phase two, phase three, phase four, all the way. And look how much information is in here. Risk assessment, technical risk, market risk, operational risks, uh, requirements, your team, who you'll ideally need, your budget, potentially what your budget is. I think you can do it for cheaper. And maybe that was something, a foresight on my part to say, hey, we want something that we can start for cheap, you know, because I think it's going in here. No one's got, well, people do, but you don't want to spend a quarter of a million dollars on development costs. And then your path to fifty ten thousand dollars MRR is 50 customers on a starter plan, and that's your 10 grand. So it gives you an idea, but it's a full analysis that, you know, when you look at these companies like McKinsey and these other consulting firms, they you're paying them exorbitant amounts of money to to do this for you. So when you have something like Manus, and then you can obviously follow up, right? So once this is done, once you have, like if you have credits, you can just follow up and ask it to dive. Let's dive into the customer insights. Let's look at the others. I definitely advise go sign up for the waitlist. I would love to share a link with you guys or some sort of promo code that gives you a discount. But in this case, I just don't have one. But I would say go sign up for the wait list, explain why you need it, and then just wait for your opportunity to get access and yeah, play around. Look at the different use cases on the Manus website. And I really hope this just showcased the power of what Manus can do. And I guess it's not just Manus, it's like a lot of these AR tools and where they're going at the moment. So I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, maybe there's one of these ideas that you guys like inspires you and you want to go and build. So I really hope that has helped. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.